Hello, I'm the Franchise King, Joel LaBava. This one's going to sound a little weird, but it, it's true. You need to find and call unhappy franchisees. I'm talking about franchisees in the system that you want to own that are miserable, broke, not making any money, dislike or hate the franchise company, uh, are, are just totally uh, uh, aggravated and unhappy, and even some of them wish they would have never bought the franchise. Why would I want to have you do that? I know it's kind of a, a downer, a, a negative Nancy kind of thing, but and, uh, let, me start, let me start with this. You think in your heart and in your mind that you need to find the most successful franchisees in the franchise system you're interested in, in buying into. And that totally makes sense. You want to talk to the rock stars. You want to talk to the multi-unit owners who are making six, seven hundred thousand dollars a year with their 10 or 15 franchise units. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But at least that's who you want to try to get a hold of. That way you can see if you're kind of like them and you want to hear those success stories because success stories will motivate you and make you feel like you can do it. So I do want you to find successful franchisees for sure. You want to see what they're doing and, and see if you can kind of copy them. But you need to find unhappy franchisees. You need to locate them. The number one reason is because unhappy franchisees will talk a lot. Not only will they spend time with you on the phone in most cases, like more time than the happier franchisees, if you ask the right questions, they will tell you everything. Mostly things that you will never hear from the, the big money makers and from the successful franchise owners. It makes sense, right? Think about it. When you're uh, talking about restaurants you'd like to go to and you're talking with friends, you want to talk about the ones that are awesome and you've had great experience. But it always happens, at least in, in our case, that we talk about those restaurants where the experiences were, shall we say, less than stellar, where the server was uh, stoned or forgetful or both, or the food came out cold, or the food was just nasty and you sent it back, or you had to wait for 45 minutes and you had a reservation, stuff like that. But the conversations tend to be a little longer when you talk about that stuff and even funnier sometimes. My point is, uh, when people talk about their negative experiences, they really talk about their negative experiences. And that's why I want you to find unhappy franchisees. I don't want you to find them so you talk yourself out of buying the franchise that you, you know, think is the franchise of your dreams. But I want you to find the unhappy franchisees so you can find out stuff that you're not going to hear from the other franchisees. For example, maybe some of these unhappy franchisees are complaining about the franchise or and about support. But the real story, as you dig in more, is you find out that they're just not really good business people. And even if the franchise or gave them extra support, they still might not even make it. So you're going to hear things from their perspective, and they may or may not be true. Now, if you detect a pattern, if you talk to 15, 16 franchisees, four of them are pretty unhappy, and all four are saying the same thing, something like, well, the franchise company, man, they have really good salespeople. They know how to sell franchises, but once they get my money, eh, their support isn't as good as I thought it would be. If you're hearing that from people more than once, three, four times, that may be a red flag. So here's what you do. If, if you hear that from some franchisees, you ask the other franchisees you're, you're calling if they're experiencing that too. It might just be them. It might not be. Here's my point. When you call franchisees, don't just try to find the ones that are super successful. Try to find the ones that aren't because you will get your answers. And, and these answers will help you decide if you should be an owner of the franchise you're really focused on buying. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Abava. If you'd like to receive more videos like this, subscribe, and you can find out when I publish them live. Thanks for watching.